हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज महेश शिवलेकर एंड यू आर वाचिंग नेक्स्ट चैन मैथ्स सी एस आई नेट जून टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन प्रॉब्लम ऑफ रियल आंसर्स एग्जाम्पल फॉर एन ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू वन लेट एफ एन एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स इन टू ई पावर माइनस एन एक्स स्क्वायर एक्स बिलोंग्स टू आर देन द सिक्वेंस एफ एन इज वी आर गिन फोर ऑप्शन यूनिफॉर्म कन्वर्जेंट ऑन आर सेकेंड ऑप्शन यूनिफॉर्म कन्वर्जेंट ऑनली ऑन कॉम्पैक्स सबसेट ऑफ आर थर्ड ऑप्शन बाउंडेड एंड नॉट यूनिफॉर्म कन्वर्जेंट ऑन आर एंड द फोर्थ ऑप्शन ए सिक्वेंस ऑफ अनबाउंडेड फंक्शन सो इट इज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ बाउंडेडनेस एंड द यूनिफॉर्म कन्वर्जेंट ऑफ सिक्वेंस ऑफ फंक्शन सो फर्स्ट वी रिकॉल बाउंडेडनेस ए सिक्वेंस ऑफ बाउंडेड फंक्शन एफ एन इज अ सिक्वेंस ऑफ बाउंडेड फंक्शन इफ Every function f n is bounded, and if function f n is bounded on R, if there exists constant m n greater than zero such that modulus f n x less than m n for all x belongs to R. That means any sequence of function is said to be bounded sequence of function if all the functions are bounded, and a function is bounded. That means we are able to find constant, positive constant m n such that modulus f n x less than m n for all x belongs to R. Now for the given function, f n x is equal to x into e power minus n x square for x belongs to R and greater than equal to one. We can rewrite the function in the form x divided by e power n x square. Now we can easily say that the growth of e power n x square. is faster than the growth of x and one can easily says that x upon e power n x square is always less than 1 that means f n x always less than 1 for all x belongs to r and n greater than equal to 1 therefore it is a bounded function but the option number 4 is says that a sequence of unbounded function which is wrong now we are going to check the uniform convergent and for the uniform convergent we recall the definition a sequence fn of a real valued function on a set x is said to be uniform convergent on x to a limit function f defined from x to r if for each epsilon greater than 0 there exist an natural number n such that modulus fn x minus fx less than epsilon for all small n greater than equal to capital n All x belongs to capital X. This modulus less than epsilon, so this epsilon depend on this capital N, but not depend on x because it is true for all x. So function is uniform convergent if this epsilon depend only on capital N, but not depend on x. Now we are going to check the uniform convergence of the given sequence of function for f n x is equal to x divided by e power n x square. Now we have inequality. Modulus n x is less than one plus n x square plus n x square power two divided by two factorial, which is e power n x square for all n greater than capital N. So modulus n x is less than e power n x square. If we divide inequality by e power n x square, then we have modulus x divided by e power n x square less than one upon n. Which is nothing but the f n x. So modulus f n x less than one upon n. So f n x minus zero less than epsilon for n greater than equal to one upon epsilon. And this epsilon is depend on the value of capital n. It does not depend on x because it is true for all x. Therefore, this sequence is uniformly converges to zero, which is limiting function. and hence the given sequence of function is uniform convergent on r so which is option number 1 it is correct and the other options are wrong thanks for watching for more videos like share subscribe press the bell icon of next gen mass